Hi, I'm Abdurrahman Ayman. We are team AMMMK. We are uh, making a uh, mice trap. Uh, it catches any mouse that passes through the door. It is consisting of a box that is making uh, our, our the, the core of our trap. It has a door, it has a motor and an IR sensor. We have uh, an edge bridge and of course we are, we are connecting it to the FPGA. Uh, and there is uh, a buzzer that makes a sound when it catches the mouse. Uh, it works as uh, the IR sensor, it catches any light cuttings. Uh, when it catches the light cutting, the motor starts working and it closes the door. And the buzzer makes uh, some sound to notify, to notify the user that uh, there is something where it catches in the box. Uh, and uh, the FPGA is showing uh, two different messages, uh, which are uh, ready and catch to uh, identify the state that uh, the trap is uh, in it now. You can uh, go back to the initial state by uh, pressing the reset button. And that's all about our project. For team A, M, 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 K, and I will tell you how the connections are made in the project. This is our devices the bridge, the motor, the IR sensor, and the buzzer, and the breadboard. The bridge is connected, the, have the DC voltage connected to it through the breadboard, and from the breadboard through the USB DC voltage. And also the motor is connected the, to the bridge via these two wires. And the buzzer is connected to the bridge via these two other wires. The triggers that uh, make the motor uh, operate and the buzzer operates are those. Those, two, uh, those four wires that are connected to the FPGA via this connection and this connection. The FPGA is connected uh, has a, has a ground connection which is this wire connected to the breadboard in this wire and connected to the USB DC voltage. The IR sensor is connected to the breadboard via these two wires and then the output signal of the the output signal of the IR sensor is connected to the breadboard via this yellow wire. I'm Mohamed Hussam and I'll show you how the, the sensor module works. First of all, uh, the, sensor, uh, the sensor is active low. Uh, so uh, when the light of the sensor is cut, it sends um, a zero to the input signal, which um, later sends the um, required imp uh, the required signals to the other um, modules, the motor module and uh, and the seg seven segment module, which later closes the door and uh, changes the output uh, word to from ready to uh, catch. I'm Mustafa Nasr. So I will show you the edge bridge functionality. We have uh, two inputs for uh, four inputs for the signals, two for one motor and the other for the other motor. But we didn't use two motors, only one, and the other is buzzer. So the first uh, two wires, the two white wires, for the first motor, when it takes it takes for uh, two seconds, zero and one will make the motor uh, turn uh, clockwise. Uh, one zero will make it uh, turn uh, anti-clockwise. Zero zero and one one will make it stop. The other uh, the other two wires for uh, for uh, the the buzzer, we connected uh, connected it with uh, with the motor uh, signals, as if it ha uh, we have two states only, work uh, work and stop. So it have one and zero will make the buzzer work, and the zero and zero will make it stop. And this is what we need. Uh, so when the motor when the signal catched by the IR sends one one and zero for the motor so the door is closed then and, and sends one and zero for the buzzer so make it uh, start the module in the in our code and they have module motor the module motor only takes an input and uh, two outputs for the motor signals what we have sent one and zero to make the motor work clockwise the input we we take the input from the other module the module sensor 
when the sensor catch a light, I send zero to zero to the input. When it's not, sends uh, only one. When it sends zero, the motor makes uh, motor one and motor two takes zero and one. It will make the motor turn uh, clockwise. Uh, the w otherwise, it will take one and will make the motor stop. So this is for uh, for the buzzer as well. So if we it catch any signal, the motor will run and will send the signal the same signal to the buzzer. Will make it work. Otherwise, it will take zero and zero. Will make the buzzer stop and will make the motor stop. Hello, I'm Karim, and I'm going to illustrate to you how the BCD module works. It's the third module in our project. Basically, it's a it takes uh, five BCDs. It shows at the, the beginning ready. Once uh, the sensor detects an intruder, I will remove the buzzer. It uh, it's ready changes to catch. Uh, if you press, if you, however, many times you you. Yeah, the IR catches you, it, it remains catched, it doesn't tra uh, change with time. And I will show you how it, this, is ha this has been done. Uh, once you uh, press reset, the, the BCD re returns to ready again. Uh, the code. And the module for the 7-segment seven, uh, seven decoder has two inputs, the hex signal and the index and one output with, which is uh, uh, the 35 bits register that I have assigned it to the, uh, th to the FPGA th through the pin planner. Uh, the always block is uh, uh, sensitive at the hex, uh, hex signal or the index. Basically, this index uh, shows us that once the BCD changes to catch, uh, it, it, it remains catch and doesn't go back to already as we have that problem uh, back in our project when uh, when whenever the IR sensor being cut, it keeps on changing from ready to catch, ready to catch. So we have added this index so that uh, we make it just uh, catched once and uh, uh, until the reset signal comes. So we have uh, two cases, uh, which is uh, uh, if the hex uh, signal is one then we are still in the ready state. Once the hex the, the signal changes to zero, we go to the catch state. We have written it in 35 bits uh, binary by assigning the, 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 the bits to the FPGA, and uh, that's it. Uh, discuss with us with you the testing module, which is the Let's say the super class that uh, combines all the, uh, the all, all the other modules uh, with it. The module has an input uh, reset, uh, which is assigned uh, uh, through the pin planner to the FPGA, and an input uh, signal, which ca uh, which comes from the the sensor. Uh, it has an uh, output pin the output segments which is uh, assigned also in the FPGA uh, as it is shown in on the VCD and the output uh, signal motor uh, it has three wires the uh, hex uh, which is a hex wire which is uh, p being passed to the, the seven segment decoder and uh, the wire index which is also uh, being passed to the seven segment and uh, the wire motor signal then we call the three the the three other the other modules, which uh, which are the sensor, the motor, and the seven segments with uh, the mentioned uh, the mentioned inputs and outputs. Let's have a try. Um, if anything cuts the, uh, the light of the sensor, the the door will close, and then um, the buzzer will beep, and the um, ready uh, word will change to catch, and uh, to stop. Uh, the, bu the buzzer and um, to change back, uh, restart back the uh, everything, we have to um, press the restart button. And now I'll show you. The use of the index is even if the mouse kept on playing around and the sensor keeps on tracking him, the, the 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 catch word and the motor and the sensor won't don't be won't be affected. So the the index is only telling us that the mouse has been catched 
once and there is no need uh, for the sensor to keep on tracking it again so it's kind of disabling the sensor once it tracks the once it catches the mouse